Doctor. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this uh, relatively special booster box opening. What you see here is a Pokemon the first movie booster box. Now, this isn't trading cards in the traditional sense. These are Topps cards. Uh, they're a little different than normal trading cards. They're more like information cards. Um, each card is about the size of a normal trading card, but they are much flatter, thicker, and uh, they have corners. And Well, we'll just open this up and show you what's inside. But this is to celebrate me hitting 15,000 subscribers. I am so grateful to every single one of you who has subscribed to me. Of course, i got Furious Fist stuff coming up in August. I'm, I'm estimating personally that I'll hit 20K by the end of August, at which point I will open up one of three things that you guys choose. The link to vote in that will be in the description, so go please vote. Uh, the options are a EX series booster box, a Diamond Pearl series booster box, and three VS series packs. Anyway, so since there aren't too many of these on YouTube, I'm just going to show it off a little bit. This is what the top looks like. Uh, this is what the front side looks like. It's the scene at the end of the movie uh, with Ash, Brock, Misty, and Pikachu looking at the clouds. This is uh, just Ash and... Uh, trying to look his best I guess this is Mewtwo and his Pokemon clones and this is Mewtwo and his armor and the bottom is just a, a random generic box this came from 1999 so this turns 15 years old this year factory sealed still and relatively easy to pick up so I figured why not I've always wanted to open an actual tops booster box so this just seemed like the perfect opportunity huh yay shrink wrap decided to cooperate today um, I remember opening a few of these packs myself, uh, not too many, but, oh man, I absolutely loved doing it back in the day. If you, if you guys lived in the 90s and you collected any kind of tops packs, or, or, or cards rather, then you know what I'm talking about. Just trying to pop it open nice and smooth, which is not going to happen. Yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, the box isn't as mint as I would like, but it'll do. Well, it's it's been sitting around for the last 15 years. Yeah. What are you going to do? This, whole, this, this is just fine. Um, trying to make it all nice and pretty. What they used to do, um, it used to be booster boxes were mainly for stores and stuff. Buy a box, put it in the store, and people just pulled out the random packs. Um, like, for example, I remember seeing bo boxes similar to this one that sold Topps cards in, like, Payless Shoe Source, for crying out loud, the, the shoe shop. Uh, because Pokemon was just that popular back in the day that they put it everywhere. One more. There we go. And then we just slip it into the back there. And, uh, did I miss one? Just missed one. Voila! There we go. And it just, uh, sat in a store just like this. And you can pick out the pack from the top and just pull it out. So, this is what every single pack looks like. It's just Mewtwo. Um, it contains eight trading cards and one foil card, and you can probably see it. The text says, look for die-cut embossed evolution cards and sticker cards. Randomly inserted, no purchase necessary, see back for details. Collect all 72 tops Pokemon cards, 72 parallel foil cards, 12 die-cut embossed evolution cards, and 18 sticker cards. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds impressive, so let's just get straight into it. There are 36 packs in this box, just like normal. Um, and I bet you they still smell like 1998. Maybe we should get scissors. This is really hard to open. Oh, uh, yeah. And if you guys know anything about Topps cards, you know that the smell is so unique. So I have no idea if there's a specific card trick to this. Let's just go through this. Uh, we're starting out. Wait. <sighs> wow. <laughs> just the smell. Anyway. Um. These, card, uh, these packs came with several cards, including one for the main movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back, and one for the Pikachu short, Pikachu's Vacation, which is what this is. So this one is titled Success. Each card has an actual um, snapshot from the film, and then on the back it has some description of what happens in the film. I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to open this now that I think about it. Just showing, the, just showing it off, uh, just the fronts seems like the best idea to me. Okay, we got introductions from Mewtwo Strikes Back, racing cheek to cheek from Pikachu's Vacation. Uh, uh, Pikachu and Raichu get shocked. I'm sorry, Pikachu Togepi get shot by Raichu. Oh, we got oh, this is cool, an Ivysaur. 
Um, what does it say on the back? Um, these, this must be the evolution cards. Yeah, see, E2 of 12. E2 of 12, okay. So yeah, evolution cards. Like I said, it's been so long since I've opened these packs. This is as much flooring experience for me as it is for you. The hollow from this pack is Trap Charizard, so that's uh, four from the back, five from the front. That's going to be difficult for me to do a trick like that with this kind of pack. Anyway, this is Trapped Charizard uh, from Pikachu's Vacation. And then I have Psychic Showdown. Uh, this is Mewtwo versus Mew. Uh, Don Fan, um, which is misspelled. It's uh, D O N P H A N. But this is before Don Fan was officially introduced, so I guess they can let that slide. And then Trapped Charizard again, the non hollow version. And that's what a typical pack looks like. I'm going to try the trick here, see if I can't move the hollow to the back properly. So, um, one, two, three. And then the hollow should be whatever is right after this. Oh, um, we'll see if it is then. Anyway. Nope, <laughs> I did that completely wrong. Or, um, it is, like, absolutely, completely random in there. Eh. I'll try opening the next one straight through and we'll see what it is. Anyway, this hollow is Come On, We Need Help from Pikachu's Vacation. Pikachu pleading with, uh, Meryl and Snubble and Raichu to help Charizard out when it's stuck. Meowth times two. Um, Meowth getting a clone. Peacemaker Pikachu, uh, from Pikachu's Vacation. Consciousness and Congratulations, the very opening scene of Me Too Strikes Back. Well, this is actually, on the back, it tells you exactly what number it is in sequence. And this is card number three. I'm going to guess numbers one and two are Me Too's vision or whatever it is at the beginning. And remember, my Me Too Strikes Back fan dub will premiere on my Twitch channel on November 10 for the 15th anniversary of the film. So that's something for you guys to look forward to. Uh, I'll probably include a link to my Twitch channel in the description just so that you can subscribe to me and... Uh, get updates for when that's going. Anyway, we got Togepi in Trouble, The Invitation, and we got Bulbasaur and Dragonair. That's just interesting. We got two evolution cards in the same pack. I don't know how common that is. Let's just go through another one, just go straight through. And of course, Saturday will be opening up the last few packs. I'm going to have her open up. Mm, do you want to open up four or six? Well, I don't care. Six, why not? Okay, well, try to remember that then. Okay, let's just open this up. Let's just go straight through again. <laughs> Come on, we need help all over again. Uh, these are a little sticky, but that's just because of the... Probably the, uh... The, uh, thing that they use to make it, um... Laminate? Laminate, thank you. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. Laminate. It's probably just the laminate. Um, the Tempest, a bad omen. From the, uh, Mewtwo Strikes Back film. Farewell, one of the last scenes in the film, Mew, um, Mewtwo flying off with all of the clones. Yeah, this is completely random, uh, where the hollow is. So I'm just going to go straight through. This is the fight rages on. This is a hollow. Charizard versus Charizard there. Oh! This is a sticker card. Look at that. Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. And on the back, I guess when you put them all together, it'll make a picture that looks like Mewtwo's tail. I'm going to guess that's Mewtwo's tail, because I dread to think of what else it could be. But, <laughs> um, yeah, we got Char Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. That's really cool. I did not know those even existed. The pack said you could get them. Yeah, um, I just didn't know what they would look like. So I'm definitely not taking the stickers off of that, of course. <laughs> um, the trainer's failure. Everyone. Pull! And the proposition. This is, that's only three packs in, and we're ten minutes into this video. Holy oh, cow. Man, that's gonna be so, you might have to split this into two parts and keep rambling on with each pack like that. Maybe I will. Of course, if you guys watched, uh, are watching this video and, and, you know, the video title, you know already if this is going to be one part or two. I don't. I won't know until a little while from now. We'll see. If it is two parts, then I'll just have Sadize open up the entire second part. How's that sound? Cool. Okay. This is stealing Pokemon when Mewtwo steals everyone's Pokemon. Um, Self-explanatory. Like it never happened. Consciousness and congratulations again. Ooh, this is awesome. We got Charmander. I always love the Charizard line. and I think Charmander's cute. 
And this is what the back looks like. It just says stage one, E4 of 12. This is the hollow for the pack, the ultimate match. Um, clone versus real, basically. Ooh, this must be another sticker card. Pikachu! Oh, that's cute. And... Something. <laughs> oh, what's this? Cool. Um, this is the um, set list. Well, that's useful. Yeah, it says on the back what every single card is in this set, except for the... It looks like it's missing the sticker cards. But that's cool. Looks like we have 59 regular cards to go after, 12 evolutions, and then who knows how many sticker cards. Um, it said, the pack said how many sticker cards, 18 of them. 18. Yeah. I'm going, to, I'm going to assume you know. I'm going to assume they make two different pictures. Uh, this is called Rebellion. That's when Mewtwo finds out that Giovanni is double-crossing him and just rebels. All of a sudden, I don't know if I'm going to get a complete set from this box. Uh, Probably not. I, I was convinced that I would have like two or three, but now, when there's so much to go after, including stuff that's just randomly in there, now this makes things interesting. Farewell again. Well, not again, but uh, the invitation. Ooh, wow. This is different. Look at, you see how fun, funny it's cut? This is Evolution Squirt, I'm sorry, War Turtle. That's just cut weird. I don't know if maybe there are alternate versions that are cut weird and embossed, but man, that's so cool. Yeah, it's 12 die cut embossed evolution cards. There's so much to go after. Why did this not succeed more? Uh, Pikachu's Vacation is the hollow. I believe that's number one of that set. Well, it doesn't say. Ooh, our evolution card here is Charizard. That's so cool. Yeah, I didn't know anything about this set before I bought the box. The box was like, you know what, I think I'll get this box just because. This is called Ash's Sacrifice, and on the back it's Pikachu I'm trying to wake up Ash, who is dead. Very sad. I remember seeing that in theaters and crying, but I was seven at the time, sue me. The trainer's failure again, and everyone pull! But yeah, um, I did a quick search, and there aren't too many of these boxes on uh, YouTube. There are a few. Not from any big Poketubers. A lot of big Poketubers stick with regular sets, not Topps cards. But you know what? I kind of liked the Topps cards a lot as a kid. They were just to me more fun than the trading card game because there was stuff on both sides and they were easier to store in a binder and I didn't know anything about how to actually play the game. So that's my excuse. Let's see, this is the fight rages. Rescuing Pikachu, that's new. Ash's sacrifice again. He's a, he keeps killing himself. Uh, oh, our hollow is Togepi in trouble. We haven't had too many hollows from the Mewtwo Strikes Back film. They're all been from Pikachu's vacation. Um, this is Charmeleon. I guess we got all three of them now. Yep. That's so cool. Um, the Tempest, Bad Omen, Farewell, again, again, and feels like it's two but it's just one and the best of the best oh that's cool um you look at the uh, door there that's hand drawn which tells me this screenshot was taken from the original japanese version not the uh enhanced redone one that the american dub used so makes sense to me they probably um had been planning on making a tie-in trading card game with the movie for over a year just because Pokemon was so popular. They knew when they made the movie they had to make as many tie-in products as possible. Uh, racing cheek to cheek again. Battle before lunch, that's new. Uh, Jordan Japan is going to be playing this character in... No, no, I'm sorry, no. He's going to be playing someone else in the uh, fandom. This is the battle renewed. Okay, just looking at this, I know that this is different. Just looking at the different Pokemon. I remember their poses in the actual film. That's not these poses. So, that proves it. They, they use the original Japanese dub. Okay, we got Bulbasaur. I wonder what we're missing now. Uh, Dratini and Dragonite and Squirtle and Blastoise. Oh, we got another sticker. <laughs> it's Pikachu, Pikachu and Raichu. Completely different from the other Pikachu we got earlier. And our Hollow is actually the, um, the checklist thing. Yeah, that's... Uh, 
interesting that they would choose to make the checklist a hollow. Yeah. That's very interesting. Uh, round one equals defeat. And reunited. Um, that's when Ash rescues Bulbasaur and Squirtle from their Pokeballs. Looking at this, I wonder if they like took a picture of a TV when they did this. Because look at how bleached out Pikachu looks and stuff. But anyway, that's weird. This was also the 90s. You know, their printing capacities weren't as high definition as they are that's now. That's true. Plus, they that um, they printed 15 years ago on top of that. So. Yep. Who knows how much fading they've had even inside of their packs. Yep. Mitt. Open. Should have gotten scissors. But the, every single pack is opening very well. Once you could get it going. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. This is the Temple of Mewtwo. Yeah, it's definitely a temple. The future looks bright. Legends. This must be number one. This is number one. Um, Mew. Let's see, this is a picture of Ash, so, ooh, this is a bunch of random stickers of different random Pokemon. Um, Psyduck was seen in the film, nothing else was though, so this is just basically random. And then our hollow is actually the Charmander. That's cool, I wonder if we could get a hollow Charizard. Eh, probably not. Let's see, the Battle of the Champions. Playtime! I like playtime, don't you guys like playtime? Then trying out the new toy. Wonder what we're missing. Probably still a lot, but we're not even halfway through the box yet. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, indeed. Yeah. When we get to the halfway point, then I'll decide if I'm going to split this into two parts. Open. <laughs> Stupid pack. Give me my Pokemon cards. Zippy, help. Fine, I'll try it from the other way. Dang. Can you get the scissors? Or maybe you should try opening this. Nope, nope, wait. <laughs> okay, that took like a minute. Sorry guys, wasting your time. Let's see, we got Togepi in trouble. A call to arms, that one's new. Teamwork, also new. Our hollow is Dawn fan. Something that I am used to saying only when opening up trading cards. Our hollow is Dawn fan. Uh, oh, there's our Blastoise. That's cool. Uh, Legends again. And Mew is so cute. Uh, the Water Race is on. That's also new. And the Story of Mewtwo, which is new. So we got a lot of new stuff in that pack. No wonder it was keeping itself sealed. It didn't want to give me its secrets. <laughs> Did not want to reveal its secrets to me. Eh, my nails are getting very tired. Eh. Okay, let's see. The fight rages. Introductions. Racing cheek to cheek. Charmander again. That seems to be very popular. Our hollow is introductions again. <laughs> well, we not again, but I seem to be seeing a lot of that particular one. There's War Turtle. Is that different from the? Uh, nope. That's okay. Here we go. Um, this is the one from earlier. Kind of hard to see. It's impossible for show. Actually, there we go. You see where the light is. Um, changing that's where it is um like sticking up from the actual card this one it has square edges and it's not doing that so well, it was die cut versus not so yeah that's pretty cool uh the temple of mewtwo and the future looks bright so basically all stuff we already had except for the war portal which was different so how many packs would be the halfway point uh 36 uh 18 Man. So, nine left on either side will be the halfway point. <laughs> My fingers are getting very tired from having to do this. Guess it is a good thing I'm opening the second half then. Yep. That does it. I'm going to split this into two halves and Saturday we'll open up the second half. See, this is Battle Before Lunch. The Battle Renewed. The Chase for Pikachu. I think that one's new. Never knew what to call these. I wanted to call them Dark Balls. That didn't work. Um, I think the official fan term for them is Clone Balls. Anyway, our Hollow is Underwater Adventure, which is also a brand new card. Um, all the water Pokemon trying to get everyone to safety. This is another sticker card. It's Bulbasaur. 
Yay. I love how they all make different um, pictures on the back, too. That's obviously uh, Mewtwo's belly, I guess. What do you want to call that? I think it's his behind. No, it's not. See? Whatever. See? Yeah, it's this picture. So, yeah. Whatever it is. Shoot. Um, Meowth times two. Peacemaker Pikachu. And Rebellion. And before we go on, I'm just going to count... Oh, I know we're nowhere close to halfway done, but I'll just count out 18 packs so that when we get there, we will um, know. So, we got... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, <clears throat> fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we are halfway then. Nope, we got plenty more in there still. Oh, um, okay. I'll just set these here so I don't grab them by accident, and we'll keep going here. We for this part, which is twenty-one and a half minutes over one, I might two, go through three, them a little four, faster, five, then. six. Have six left. I will try to go through them faster. Sorry, most of the time is taken in opening them just because it's so hard to get into. They don't want to rip apart in the back like normal booster packs, just because these were made by Tops and not Wizards. Okay, we got new friends and farewells, which I think is new. Yep. Clones, which is new back when they were using Pokemon Stadium models for the um, computer. Don't cry, Togepi. Oh, we got that Squirtle again. That's cool. It, and the hollow does not want to come off. Ah, oh, the hollow is like it never happened. The hollow effect on this is, um, the best equivalent I have is to, is like the reverse hollows from the E series and early EX series. Um, think like that and that is this. It's very blinding, but very Colorful. You can see all colors of the rainbow in there. Got another sticker card. This is Graveler, Golem, and Geodude. Very cool. I love those sticker cards. Um, the best of the best and the tears of Pokemon. Poor Pikachu. Um, this is everyone crying for Ash after he got turned to stone. That's the first one of those, I think, in this box. Yeah, when you start opening this, you will know how hard it is to open. Yeah, but I have like fingernails. She has fingernails, but she's a girl, and she is my wife. Unlike most of you commenters, she is my wife, not my sister, or my friend, or my brother, as some of you have even said. So you're all idiots. She's my wife. Just know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got Togepi in trouble, a call to arms, teamwork. Ooh, there we go, Dratini. I think we're all we're missing now is Dragonair and Blastoise. Do we have Blastoise? Yeah, we got Blastoise. I think all we're missing now is Dragonair. Or, I'm sorry, Dragonite. Because we had Dragonair already. <laughs> Speaking of Dragonair. <laughs> I, did not call, I did not plan that, folks. That was just funny. That That's all it was. Then our Hollow. <laughs> we got three in the same pack. This is Ivysaur. That's cool. I like that Hollow. Um, round one equals defeat. And reunited. I think we got, well, we got a few packs left. Yeah, definitely going to need to make this into two parts. I'm sorry, guys, this is taking so long. Um, and this is just me going through it in the fastest way I know how. Imagine if I actually took the time to flip each card around and, sh and show you what the words said on the back. Because each individual card on the back has a little um, synopsis of the scene that it's depicting. And... Can't get a grip. Yeah, you try. Right. You try. Well, I'll start the next one. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. This one opened much easier. So while she's opening that one, I'll just open this one. This is the story of Mewtwo. Uh, the ultimate match, which I think is new. Leaving the nest, which is also new. The hollow is battle before lunch. The, uh, this card is Charizard. Pretty cool. I think that's only our second Charizard. Uh, the fight rages, rescuing Pikachu and Ash's sacrifice. And it looks like while I was busy showing that off, she opened up this pack. Let's hope since it was completely different, there's something awesome in here to show you guys. We got clones! Don't cry, Togepi. Mechanical Mewtwo. I think that one's new. 
Our hollow is the Tempest a Bad Omen. I think that's the second time that one's hollow. Mm, eh, I think. Maybe. I don't remember. Oh, we got another sticker card. Um, Caterpie, Metapod, and Butterfree. That's cool. That's very cool, in fact. I like that. Um, see the proposition again. Looks like Trouble, which is new. And Underwater Adventure. Okay, it looks like we have three packs left for this part. And if you want to know what the back of the packs look like, um, it just says collect all 72 tops. Pokemon cards, 72 parallel foil cards, 12 die cut embossed evolution cards, and 18 sticker cards. What you also said at the beginning of the movie, too. Well, you can never be too sure. I didn't remember. I actually, I, I did remember about two words in, but then I say, well, why stop? The Battle of the Champions. Playtime. I love playtime. Trying out the new toy. Ooh, we did not have this yet. Venusaur. Doing solar beam. Solar beam. And this is consciousness and congratulations, Azar Hollow. Another sticker card. This is Squirtle, War Turtle, and Blastoise. Very cool. This is the Nefarious Team Rocket, which is new. Better than ever, which is also new. Yay! Pidgeotto never appeared in the film, just in the short. When Ash was told to let his Pokemon out of their Pokeballs, he only sent out Bulbasaur and Squirtle. He neglected Pidgeotto entirely and didn't get to Charizard till later. Smart. Just like in real life. <laughs> no, actually, that was a good ploy on his move. Mechanical Mewtwo. Success. This is... Um, Meowth is about to detonate a bomb, Charizard falls from above, squashes Meowth, and squishes the bomb. <laughs> That's funny. Um, introductions. Ooh, yay, Dragonite. I think we have all 12 of them now. Our hollow is... Don't cry, Togepi. Uh, there's Blastoise. If we were missing that before, we have it now. Ash and Company, which is brand new, and A Great Day. Which may or may not be new. I don't remember. I don't remember seeing it. Hmm. Okay, then I guess it's new. And this is the last pack for this part. Then I'll uh, turn off the camera, turn it back on, and when we come back, it'll be Satizay's turn. Yeah. Open for me. Oh, yeah. That's, that's great. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Last pack that I get to open. Battle of the Champions. Playtime. Trying out the new toy. Ooh, this is another sticker card. Uh, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur, which I think is new. And that's just a big blue blob on the back. Sweet. I've always wanted a big blue blob. And Hollow Blastoise. <laughs> uh, again, I'm so used to saying that with normal packs. Um, the Ultimate Match... Leaving the nest, and come on, we need help. Can't remember if I've seen that yet or not. I did. Probably then. Okay, um, I'm going to put the rest of the packs back in here in between uh, video cuts. Uh, thanks everyone for watching so far, and again, thank you for 15,000 subscribers, and see you again very soon.